The big news. It might not be anything. This planet is undoubtedly the closest planet to the Sun that does not orbit the Sun, Proxima. So what's the story? Well, it's like Earth. What makes Proxima be interesting is that it is an Earth-like planet orbiting the star closest to the Sun. The James Webb Telescope just sent a huge warning to Earth, and it's coming. This warning comes from the exoplanet Proxima b. Each new snapshot makes us question more. The authorities are horrified. Every picture of this distant planet makes us wonder. These are dangerous parts of the growing question of a near-Earth enemy planet. What if there is an alien planet next to us that wants to destroy us? Join us to see the terrifying creatures that Proxima b hides millions of kilometers from Earth, dream, or nightmare. Where are the aliens? This question keeps coming up. Honestly, the universe doesn't make it easy to find the answer. We're constantly using it with our best technology like the James Webb Space Telescope, hoping to catch a glimpse of something, anything, that might hint at life beyond Earth. But let's face it, every new image and tidbit is mostly a reminder of how little we know. We're told these findings could be surprising. Understanding a distant planet like Proxima, B could redefine our place in the cosmos. But while astrophysicists find this fascinating, for most people it's just space news that doesn't touch their lives. It's another small step in a huge, ongoing search that seems to raise more questions than answers. Despite its power, JWSD can only show us so much. We learn things like the universe is bigger than we thought. Okay, interesting, but so what? From a practical perspective, the space between scientific discovery and everyday meaning can seem as vast as the universe itself. Back to Proxima b discovered in 2013 by gravitational interaction with a star. For scientists, it was like discovering a new cosmic neighbor. The planet is only slightly larger than Earth and orbits its star every 11 days. The idea of another world so close to us is exciting on a scientific level, but most people have a hard time connecting with a place that's still 25 light years away. Imagine you are in Proxima b. You can see this star Proxima Centauri as a big, dim red light in the sky, much cooler than our sun. The planet runs around its star so fast that its year lasts just over a week. One side of the planet always faces the star and receives continuous daylight, while the other side remains an endless night. It sounds like something out of a storybook, but the reality of living there would be brutal. Therefore, the close orbit of the star means that any water can boil into steam on the bright side and turn to ice on the dark side. Not to mention that Proxima Centauri is not a silent star. It fires dangerous missiles that emit intense radiation. This is not exactly the neighborhood you want to move to. Excitement about finding life beyond Earth began in late 2020 when scientists detected an unusual signal from the Alpha Centauri system, home to Proxima Centauri. The unique frequency of the signal was 982.551 MHz, which attracted everyone's attention. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope has attracted further interest by suggesting that the atmosphere of the distant planet Proxima be under study may contain water vapor. This discovery is very important because water is essential to life as we know it. To better understand how much water Proxima b has, scientists are using all the advanced techniques available. Spectroscopy, a technique that allows them to see what gases surround Proxima b, serves as a high-tech detective tool. Atmospheric modeling is another technique that involves creating computer simulations of Proxima b's atmosphere. These simulations help scientists make educated guesses about the atmosphere, just as paleontologists use dinosaur bones to imagine what dinosaurs might have looked like. These scientific methods reveal gases essential for life around Proxima b, such as oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide. They also help scientists test different scenarios in their computer models just as children play with different ideas in a science fair project. While these tools reveal more about Proxima b's atmosphere, they also remind us of the incredible diversity of life on Earth. For example, extremophiles are small organisms that live in the extreme conditions of our planet. They are found in boiling hot springs, acidic lakes near volcanoes, and even in the freezing cold of Antarctica. These organisms show how life can adapt and thrive in conditions we once thought impossible to survive. The search for life on Proxima b presents enormous challenges, including overcoming some of the greatest challenges in space travel. But the challenge of proving the existence of life on Proxima b is daunting. 
Not only do scientists have to overcome the significant challenge of intense space radiation, but they also need advanced technology and equipment that can handle the task. A space trip to Proxima B is huge and will require new types of propulsion systems that can take us across the stars much faster than anything currently available. Ideas like solar sails, ion thrusters, and even theoretical concepts like warp drives offer exciting possibilities for future space travel. These technologies could potentially reduce the time it takes to travel between stars and open new avenues for exploration and discovery. However, these technologies are still in the development phase and require a lot of research and testing before they can be used for real tasks. While it is exciting to think about these future possibilities, we must remain realistic. The road to finding life on Proxima B is full of technical and scientific obstacles. We must continue to improve our technology and understanding of the universe. Only then can we hope to unlock the true potential of distant worlds like Proxima B and perhaps find signs of life there. Achieving these goals is not just about satisfying curiosity. It's about transcending human limits as we reach for the stars. When we think about the long journey to Proxima Centauri, our nearest star system, the idea of finding aliens seems less like a wild fantasy and more like a real possibility. This transition from just a story in a book to something we could do was seriously considered in groups like Breakthrough Initiatives. They work hard to transform a journey of thousands of years into a few decades, but achieving such lofty goals meets the harsh realities of our current technology. Trying to accelerate a spacecraft to close to the speed of light with the current spacecraft seems almost impossible, like trying to solve a very difficult puzzle in the dark. The Alpha Centauri part of the Proxima Centauri system is supposed to last 6,000 years, but then there is Project Starshot, a bold and somewhat reckless idea that wants to use lasers to shoot a spacecraft to Alpha Centauri. However, many practical questions immediately arise. For example, the Earth's atmosphere makes it difficult for lasers to operate accurately. A proposed solution is the use of adaptive optics, where smaller lasers on satellites would constantly scan the atmosphere and adjust for potential interference. This would help powerful lasers on Earth focus on the spacecraft as it flies through space. This laser technology would require a huge amount of power, equal to all the energy consumed by the United States, and would only work for a short time. Consider placing 100 million lasers over a large area to push a small 33-foot-wide spacecraft to 20% of the speed of light. At this rate, it would take a spacecraft 22 years to reach the Alpha Centauri system which is more than the lifetime of many people. But getting to the Alpha Centauri system isn't just about solving technical problems. There are also natural obstacles, the gravity of the sun, pieces of space rock, and the vast distance present great risks. Even talking to a spacecraft would be like sending messages through time, because it would take about four years for a message to reach the spacecraft from Earth. Despite all these enormous challenges, the desire to explore other stars is growing, even more so with our love of discovery and less practical thinking. As we slowly figure out how to get to Proxima Centauri, we are driven by the idea of exploring unknown places. Proxima Centauri may have Earth-like planets, opening up new places for us to explore. Our search for life has already made incredible discoveries by peering into the cosmic abyss. The discovery of planets outside our solar system was already an important step in space exploration, starting with the discovery of planets around pulsars in 1992. It opened a new chapter in our understanding of the cosmos, showing that Earth-sized planets exist. Around them, stars that could support life. These planets are discovered by looking at how they interact with their stars. They either block some of the starlight as they pass in front, or cause the stars to wobble slightly due to gravity. Our knowledge is constantly growing, and tools like the Kepler Space Telescope have been really helpful in finding these distant worlds and learning about the cosmos. Now that Kepler's work is done, the James Webb Space Telescope is ready to take over. It is equipped with a near-infrared camera, a near-infrared spectrograph, a slitless near-infrared display spectrograph, and a mid-infrared instrument. The James Webb Space Telescope is ready to dive deeper into space. It's not just about picking up where others left off. It aims to go further into the unknown, providing clearer views of Proxima B and the wider universe. 
Finding life beyond Earth is often considered a big deal. It is said to change the way we see ourselves and our place in the cosmos, leading to new scientific research and deep thinking about life throughout the universe. But honestly, how prepared are we to deal with this kind of news? Do we just comfort ourselves with the idea that we are part of something bigger?